So what brought you down here today? What was the interest? Uh, well, obviously I'm interested in the kind of community reporter model and how that integrates with, with the kind of process of um, developing a wider engagement platform using different types of technology and different types of media. I think it's a great idea. I, I think it's a great idea and I think it's a great way of people being able to express themselves and say what they feel. Well, the community does need a voice and it also ex expand people's horizons. We've got Gary Coppich here, who's the Chief Executive of People's Voice Media, who's going to give a presentation, and Mark Elaine Fox, who is the UK Digital Champion, who's also going to speak to us. <laughs> <laughs> The Moon Reporting has already helped our campaign. You've been following us all over the place and doing interviews, which is fantastic. But beyond that, it's just about the groundswell of activity now that there is around encouraging people to think about the internet, not to be scared to use social media, even if it's not something like Facebook or Twitter, it's something that seems much more local and relevant to them. So yes, it's absolutely core cool to what we're doing. Today's been absolutely fantastic. It symbolises for us the launch of the Community Reporters programme and the beginning of our partnership with People's Voice Media. It's been something that we've been planning and working on for a very long time and we've thought very hard about it. And really what's excited us the most is that the, uh, the essence of the Community Reporters programme really meets all of our core values, which are about sharing news, uh, working with local people, training, upskilling, investing in the community um, and giving people a platform to be able to shout about what they're doing themselves and create their own content. So all of that very much ticks all of our boxes, which is why we wanted to make a bit of a song and dance about today. We didn't just want to kind of get handed over a license. We wanted it to be um, an event which people could share in and celebrate in and find out about what we're going to be doing over the next few months and what we're going to be focusing on. So it's, uh, it's been great. I've loved it. Great day. I just thinking about all the different projects that, that we could use it for, you know, the things that they do. We've got Bruhaha here who do the carnival. We've got Squash Nutrition who also have the bees on the roof. We have the allotment project, you know, so we've got lots of different things going on. We also have links to the local schools, so they have the Green Shoots project. So there's lots of things going on. The only way it'll happen is with trust, and I think communications with any type of media, but mainly this type, what Gary outlined, I think that's the way forward, because there, there isn't anything else. We've tried everything else. Kind of more importantly, I think, as a practice, we're kind of involved and are interested in community consultation and how that is brought about and I think the more different ways that it can be approached is an important thing and, and I think this scheme obviously hopes to sort of tap into that as a as a way of, of bringing people together and giving people new skills but at the same time getting the benefit of, of people talking and when people are together they're going to naturally discuss potential things that are happening in their own community. I just want to do it and I just want to take it forward because I really believe in it. I really believe in everything that Gary's done and for me it's all about empowering people and giving them a voice in the community and that's the most important thing from my point of view.